I document butterflies and moths in southeastern Brazil since recently. And one group of moths in the rainforest that I really find fascinating are the hawk moths. Let me show you some species I encountered there. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, just look at this stunning diversity of hog moths. My name is Bart Coppins and I've studied moths and butterflies in southeastern Brazil. And one of the most awesome group of animals that I came across during my adventure were hog moths. But how do you recognize these species? How do you identify them? For that, I'm going to recommend a nice source for you today. Now you may wonder, Bart, how is it possible that when you encounter moths in your videos, sometimes you just instantly recognize the names? Well, let me tell you, I am not that knowledgeable on hawk moths. Well, not knowledgeable enough to know the over 200 species of hawk moths in south southeastern Brazil by heart and mind. I don't know them from the top of my head, so I'm cheating a little behind the scenes with this wonderful book. A guide to the hawk moths of the Serra dos Orgals. Made by Alan Martin, Alexandre Soares and George Bizarro. And today I really want to talk about this wonderful publication. Let's get started. My name is Bart and since recently I collaborate with a natural reserve in Brazil. It is called Regua or Reserva Ecológica de Guapiatsu. It is located in the Atlantic rainforest, which is a rainforest that is found in southeastern Brazil but also Argentina and Paraguay. And what's really fascinating is that the Atlantic rainforest is fundamentally different from the Amazon rainforest that usually gets more attention. The Atlantic rainforest has many unique endemic species that can only be found here. And while I was attracting moths with the light, I did come across one challenge, and that was trying to identify some of these moths that I found. Now, thanks to the internet, identifying moths has become more easy in recent times. There's even apps that use artificial intelligence to identify species for you if you upload a picture. There's websites like iNaturalist. There's websites about the biology of butterflies and moths in general that you can use to identify them. But in my opinion, it's not enough. Despite all the advancements we've made, the internet is still lagging behind classical literature. To summarize it, read a book for once in your life. I think books and literature are super important if you want to have some experience and expertise. And as somebody who is completely new, a newbie in southeastern Brazil, learning over 200 species of hog moths just on the top of my head is impossible and I don't always have internet reception where I am, especially if I'm not moth if I'm moth trapping in a rainforest. <coughs> Therefore, sorry, had a hiccups. Therefore, carrying a guide with you is amazingly useful and today we're going to show you this awesome book. Now one of the things that I really like about this book are the amazing color plates that are provided within it. And these color plates alone are extremely useful when it comes to trying to identify the many species of hog moths that you can encounter in southeastern Brazil. And let me tell you, there's a lot of species out there of which many of them look very similar and are very hard to identify if you are not using a proper guide. This book offers a solution. Just look at some of these amazing species. This is the culmination of over 10 years of moth trapping and photographing all the species that come to light. Wow, I love to see this one, Neococcytes. 
But what's also really cool is when we skip ahead, these are pictures of live moths and live insects encountered in the field. Here are pictures of their habitat, the places where they've been found. Wow! Look at how many moth traps or how many hawk moths can be found in one night of moth trapping. But what's really useful is the fact that there's also depictions of specimens. And using these specimens you can see the hind wings, the fore wings and even the underside. This gives valuable insights and information when it comes to trying to identify these southeastern Brazilian hawk moth species. And that, in my opinion, is where the, the value of this book really comes in. It's been really helpful during my journey in Brazil. Just look at that. And a lot of work has gone into producing this book. Now, compared to the websites that are out there that talk about hog moths, I'd say that they are pretty limited. And it's nice to see that publications like these are still being developed. I think it's a very valuable alternative. Just look at that. So many species of Adamarius alone. So what's really interesting is that, see, this is all one genus of moths. Adamarius eristenus, um, Adamarius gargani, Adamarius canascus. As you can see, all of them, they look super, super similar. Adamarius palmieri. So trying to identify these on the fly in the field is sometimes even impossible. And that's why this book also has very uh, useful species descriptions and tips that you can use for identification. See? For example, here uh, there's an identification subsection. Uh, for example, if we were trying to identify Xylophana sterza, Xylophana sterza is usually smaller and has narrower forewings than Xylophalus, Xylophalus indistincta and lacks the pale cream dorsal stripe down the center of the thorax and abdomen. There are also differences in the forewing patterns. Xylophanus indistincta has two parallel brown dark uh, lines to the center of the wing, which extend to the inner margin, whereas the inner two lines of Xylophanus sterza tend to be lighter in color, stops short of the margin and often um, tends to bend towards the base of the forewing. Xylophanus indistincta also has a larger and darker discal spot and noted differences in the underwing with the darker outer margin on the forewing of Terza having a clear stepped appearance. Now this is great information because and you, as you can see, as diverse as hawk moths are, one of the problems that we face trying to identify them is that many species of them are very very similar when it comes to their appearance. And trying to identify them can be very difficult unless you pay attention to some of these particular specific traits that are thankfully mentioned in this book. Apart from that, the book also mentions the distribution and synonymous species in case you are confused with other names you may encounter in literature. Overall, I think this is a very, very useful guide to anyone who is willing, willing to learn more about hog moths of southeastern Brazil. Last but not least, many of the species, or pretty much all of them that you see in this book, are the species that I film on my channel, myself. So it will also help you learn about the species I encounter in my videos. Because if you're a fan of my channel, you probably like to watch my moth trapping videos and to see all the hog moths that I can find here at night in the southeastern Brazil, where I'm studying butterflies and moths for a natural reserve. And if you put this book next to my videos, you can read about the species you're observing in my videos as well. And who knows, maybe my channel inspires you to visit Regua someday. Anybody is welcome in Regua, we take tourists, we take students, we take volunteers, yes. If you're watching this video, you can visit the natural reserve as well and moth trap for yourself. And if you ever happen to visit southeastern Brazil, or maybe you live in Brazil, maybe you are Brazilian, and you want to learn about the insects of your own country, I highly recommend it. Now, so I can see this is focused on the Serra dos Orgals, which is, um, I think it's called the Oregon Mountain Range, but also the surrounding area, uh, which is a particular area in southeastern Brazil, which is a biodiversity hotspot in the Atlantic rainforest. 
The Atlantic rainforest is uh, essentially a super humid tropical to subtropical um, rainforest biome and the uh, climate here is more or less unique. It has different species compared to the Amazon and I think it's very valuable to look at the local species here because many of them have not been researched, studied or documented and publications like these improve the situation. Another thing that I like about this publication is that the money that is made from sales when people buy the book is used for the conservation of the rainforest and also, if you think about it, the conservation of butterflies and moths. Regua is a natural reserve in southeastern Brazil that invests a lot of resources, time and money in studying and conserving all forms of wildlife, including insects. Regua also supports people who come there to study insects and the culmination of all those efforts are books like these. As you can see, it is a Regua publication. And what's really cool is that I guess the funds that are being made from the sales of books and guides like these sponsor the natural reserve. So you can say that when you buy this book, I guess the proceeds are going to what I believe is a good cause. Um, it's basically funding your own research through the production of books, literature and other information. And I think that's a win-win. So if you see my videos and you are very inspired to learn about hog moths, especially those of southeastern Brazil, this is a book that I definitely highly recommend. If you're interested in buying it, you can go to the Regua website, send them an email, or maybe you can private message me, maybe I can help um, arrange it. But it's better if you contact Regua themselves, I believe. One of the people who helped produce the book was Alan Martin. Alan Martin has, is someone who uh, I know very well. I consider him a friend. If you're watching, hi, Alan. Wonderful book, and uh, thank you for giving me a copy. I really appreciate it. Alan also has a website about hot moths where uh, he shares a lot of information and pictures. It's called the Brazil Hot Moths. I will include a link to the website under this video and in the description. So feel free to check out his website on Brazilian hog moths, ladies and gentlemen, if you are really interested in learning more about these uh, awesome animals. And uh, yeah, that was Bart Coppens with uh, another book review. It's been a while that we've reviewed a book, but uh, this is one that I can really, really recommend. I think nothing defeats a good guide, really. As useful as the internet is today, stuff like this is uh, really still essential. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, short but um, informational video. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen. If you are interested in this literature, you can contact Regua, check out their website. And see you next time on my channel. Bye bye.